Good morning. I'm here in Agra, India, sitting on the roof of my hotel with uh, the Taj Mahal in the background. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little bit of a misty morning. And you know, I can't think of a single better place in the entire world to talk about the idea of architecture. Taj Mahal is considered by a lot of people to be the greatest building in the world. And the Taj Mahal is a piece of architecture. So what is architecture? Well, interestingly, architecture is both a process and a product. It's a process and product of planning something, designing something, and constructing it. So think about that. First of all, it's a noun and it's a verb. I do architecture. I create architecture. And it's the result and also the process of whatever it is I do when I plan something, I design it and I construct it. Now, of course, um, uh, in the case of the Taj Mahal, the planning, designing, and construction is of a building. But the kind of architecture that we're interested in is the planning, designing, and constructing of information systems, and most particularly web information systems. So let's take this idea of, of uh, architecture apart and um, look at it a little bit. And in fact, <laughs> taking architecture apart in order to understand it is tantamount to doing architecture because we're trying to figure out what all the parts are and how, how they relate. So that's what I want to let you know about architecture. When we talk about systems architecture, the architecture of our information systems, and particularly our web information systems, um, what we mean to talk about is all the different parts that make up a system. What each part is, what it does, uh, uh, and how each individual part functions. Programming in general is an exercise in taking things apart, making them smaller, making a problem small enough so that you can solve it with a very simple set of, um, of code and then building larger and larger systems from those, from those simple building blocks. So architecture of a system describes the parts of the system. The architecture of the system also describes how the parts interact. So I have part A over here, it's my browser. I have part B over here, it's my server. How do those interact? How do they, how do they come together? The browser does this, server does this, but the browser and server together create the system. And in order to understand the system, in order to design a system, in order to build a system, not only do you have to understand each of the parts, you have to understand how those parts fit together. And when all the parts come together, they create something that's usually greater than the sum of its parts. Something that does things that none of those parts could do by themselves, but in combination, in together, in interaction, they create some kind of functionality, something that you want to have done that's possible without the, well, that would not be possible with the parts alone. Okay. Um, uh, as you see uh, on the screen now, architecture is described by schematics. Schematics are diagrams, illustrations, that allow you to visually see all those parts and how they fit together. Um, and those are the diagrams we use in the architecture of buildings. Those are the diagrams that we use in the architecture of systems. And we'll look at a number of those different schematic diagrams throughout this course in order to give you a feeling for what the architecture of something is. All right, so um, uh, what happens when you're done with your architecture? What's that product of the architecture called? Well, it's definitely called an architecture, but that's not telling us anything new. What I want you to understand is that when we're finished with an architecture, whether it's a, whether it's a building architecture or a, um, or a programming architecture, when we're finished with an architecture, we have a structure. And that structure um, is what it is we were aiming for create a bunch of parts, we put those parts together, those parts create a structure. So an architecture is an interacting set of parts that come together to create some structure that has a function that we desire. In the case of a building, it, the function is to house people. In the case of a computer system like Facebook, the function is to connect people with their friends and allow them to share information. Okay, so in this module we're going to talk about systems like World of Warcraft, uh, Google, uh, not in this module, well, yes, actually, in, in this module, we'll talk about systems like World of Warcraft, Google, Facebook, um, and in other places, we're going to talk about information structures, and I will say that just like you can create a systems architecture, a web systems architecture that creates a web system, you can create an information architecture that defines all the pieces of the information and how they interact to create an information structure that performs, that does something that we want. So we can apply architecture to buildings, we can apply information architecture to systems, and the people who create systems would be called systems architects, and we could apply it to information, and the pe people who create information structures can be called information architects.